everybody, Vanessa from AWM. In this video, I will be going over some details about the new widescreen video settings as well as how you can use it on your StreamMate profile. Okay, so as of June 5th, 2013, StreamMate made a formal announcement that it was switching over to widescreen video. Within that same announcement, they mentioned that there are new settings available in order to stream in widescreen video using your HD encoder, and we can reference those settings by going to the support tab of your StreamMate account, then clicking the HD encoder option. If you've already downloaded the HD encoder, then you can skip to step two, and you can configure the settings of your HD encoder. Now there are, now there are different types of settings available depending on your personal setup. When I say setup, I am referring to the processor that your computer is running on, the type of cam you are using, and also your internet connection. So take all of those things into consideration when figuring out which settings will work best for you. There are different settings available for both PC and Mac users. There are the high quality settings, the medium quality settings, and the lower quality settings. They are contained in XML files that you will download to your computer and then open up within your HD encoder. I'll show you momentarily how that is done if this is your first time doing it. The high quality file settings are recommended for performers who are using either an i5, either an i5, i7, or equivalent brand processor. So if you're using any of those types of processors, then we recommend downloading the high quality file and using it within. If for any reason you encounter issues with running the high quality file within your HD encoder, for instance, if you have delay, lag, really bad video quality, and it's really hindering your actual live stream, then you can try to troubleshoot that by, first of all, making sure that you are hardwired to your modem. Also, you can try different internet browsers. So, for instance, if you are using Chrome, then you can use something else like Firefox or Internet Explorer to see if that helps with any of the issues that you were encountering within your video. Also, make sure that you close out of any additional windows or tabs, programs that are also running while you are live on StreamMate using the HD encoder. All of those things may have an impact on your stream quality and therefore cause some of these issues. So you can troubleshoot by doing all of those things. And if you continue to encounter issues, then what you can do as an alternate option is download the medium quality file settings. If you cannot run either the high or medium quality file settings within your HD encoder, the final option, the final option is the lower quality. The same thing goes for Mac users. You have the high, medium, and low quality file settings that you can try within your HD encoder. So now what I'm going to do is give you a live example of how I downloaded the appropriate settings for my setup and actually run it live on my StreamMate profile. What I'm going to do now is download the medium quality file settings and run it within my HD encoder. So all you need to do is click on the file and click save file. So it's going to download and once the download has completed, then what you can do is open up your HD encoder. Okay, so I've opened up my HD encoder, and from here, all I need to do is go to File, then Open Profile, and locate the XML file containing the new widescreen video settings that I had just downloaded. So I have renamed it SM Medium Quality File. You can rename yours to whatever you'd like and save it to your computer so that you can easily reference it if you need to. Um, but once you've opened it up, then all of the fields within your HD encoder will automatically be configured to the new settings within the respective file folder that you had just downloaded. So I did the medium quality file settings, so they are now inputted into my HD encoder. All you will need to do from here is select the appropriate webcam that you would like to use. Okay, so there it is, and you can also resize it as you wish. Also, you need to clear out the fields on the right-hand side of your encoder because you are going to copy and paste auto-generated codes from your StreamMate profile into these sections. This is how you're going to link your HD encoder to your StreamMate profile. I've opened up my StreamMate profile, and I'm going to click Start My Show Now. From there, under the Quality drop-down menu, make sure you select External Encoding, then click the green Start My Show button. 
two codes will pop up. Copy and paste these codes into the appropriate sections of your HD encoder. So the first code is the FMS URL. So we're going to copy it and paste it into the FMS URL section of the HD encoder. Go back and copy the stream code and paste it into the stream section of the encoder. Then click the green start button. And my profile is now live on Streamate using the HD encoder with the new widescreen video settings. Again, I'm using the medium quality file settings, but you can use either the high or the low as well, just depending on what works best with your setup. So you can reference whether the settings that you are using within your HD encoder are working for your setup by going to the encoding log, then referencing the output FPS as well as the video bitrate. These numbers may be constantly going up and down, but for the most part, you will want to be at 30 frames per second and your bitrate should be around whatever the bitrate is that has been inputted into your encoder. So with these particular settings, it is 800 kbps. I know you could barely see it, but that's what it says right there. So if I go to my encoding log, then my bitrate is right around 800. Again, the numbers will be fluctuating, but so long as I am in that target range of 800, then I am okay. So it looks like I am right on target with the settings that I had inputted into my encoder. Okay, so those are the different settings options that you currently have available to use within your HD encoder. Again, using any one of those settings files will allow you to stream in HD and also using widescreen video. Of course, we recommend that you use a webcam that is optimized for widescreen video. So whenever you are shopping around, then just be sure to look for 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This will indicate that your cam is able to stream in widescreen. However, it is not a requirement in order to run any of these settings, but it will produce the best results. So if you guys have any questions, then please feel free to message me. Thank you so much for watching and everyone have a great week. Take care.